On this blisteringly cold day, John Gertan could be warming his hands by the fire, but instead, he's risking hypothermia to help some feathered friends. Well, uh, here's some neat lumber. What John is doing is sifting through the remnants of an old barn, looking for just the right sort of wood to build what might be the perfect birdhouse. Wood that 100 years ago was brand new, but now, thanks to the steady rotation of the seasons, has aged to perfection. What do you think they like about this wood? Uh, this thick, it's textured, they can cling onto it easily, and uh, you know, we're finding that people like to look at it too. What John has come up with might just be the birdhouse. Architecturally stunning, and yet so perfect for those who might dwell within. So when you build one of these boxes, what are you thinking about as far as what's going to appeal to a bird? Well, the most important thing is the uh, dimension on the inside of the box there, Jerry. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, this will appeal to the five species. Which um, five species? Five species, uh, wrens, chickadees, nuthatches, tufted titmouse, and downy woodpeckers should be attracted to this box. Because? Uh, because of the inner dimension. We've got approximately uh, four inches square on the floor. Um, the height off the floor is uh, suitable for their... Um, their needs according to the DNR and uh, the size of the hole being an inch and a quarter. That, that, that's very important because it excludes other species like sparrows and starlings that are going rampant in our environment and, and pushing out the, the songbirds that we love. John has come up with six distinctly different designs from the Queen Anne to my personal favorite which I call the Celtic Church of the Chickadee. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it's make, uh, well, some folks are uh, very passionate about their uh, backgrounds. The, the Celtic uh, uh, motif is uh, very traditional, of course. Uh, we, a lot of us have Irish people in our backgrounds we like to remember, but I like, I like to do this one for another reason, too, because it, it reminds us that we should be more reverential towards uh, uh, the Lord's creatures, and uh, we have a responsibility to care for them. I guess you could also call these houses the rectories of the recycled, because not only does John use used wood, but also other secondhand items wow. as well to make That's these homes distinctive. What that is is a, an old iron trivet, the thing that Granny used to put her uh, wood stove irons on. And then these here? Um, That's that's part of an old Victorian floor grate. Mm -hmm. This is a muffin uh, trivet that uh, Grandma used to put on the table to protect the linen. And when you put it all together, you get what might just be the nicest birdhouse you'll ever see, and also the nicest pad a bird might ever call home.